Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and here it is. I don't have a name for it because, for religious reasons, I don't believe in naming blasters before they've been used in combat. But, this was a commission from a, a young fellow. He contacted me about this idea he had for a blaster, and wanted to know if it was something I could do. And I said, well, yeah, that's something I could probably do, and if you want, we can discuss prices and all that. And he said, well, okay, I, I don't have the money, but uh, I'll get back to you. Uh, a few days later, his mother contacted me and said how much we're getting it for him for Christmas. So I gave her uh, a quote, and she sent me the money. Uh, and so this thing became a reality. I made a couple of changes from what the kid and I originally discussed for practical and uh, uh, economic reasons. But let's just go over this thing. So the base is, of course, a cross bolt which has been shortened and had a barrel mount attached to it. It's also had every single lock in it removed because the locks in this thing are a pain and lead to jams. Uh, with them all removed, it actually shoots really nicely. Uh, I have also shortened the spring or the, the string a little bit to give it a little bit more power and it actually shoots remarkably well. Uh, gave it a paint job. Kid apparently likes black and red, so I did a black and red paint job with my X on it. Uh, hopefully he appreciates that and uh, likes that. Uh, other than that, not a whole lot to say about that. The interesting part is, of course, the barrel attachment. Now, I am perfectly well aware that I am not the first person to attach two swarm fires to a blaster. Coop did it with his Dahmer build, where he attached two swarm fires to either side of a rapid strike, and I'm reasonably certain that is where this kid got the idea. I had actually, in the past, considered attaching two swarm fires to a barrel, um, but I hadn't thought of doing it this way. Um, the the uh, customer originally wanted uh, the cross bolt to have a uh, rapid strike barrel attached to it. He still wanted it to use the cross bolt as the primary firing mechanism, he just wanted a rapid strike barrel attached in order to create the mounting point for the two swarm fires and the Titan. Yes, there's a Titan. Spoiler alert. Um, but that seemed like a terrible waste of a Rapid Strike, and it would have increased the price because he would have had to, you know, buy the Rapid Strike just for me to cut the barrel off and not use the rest of it. Um, so what I ended up using was a long shot front gun because I had a whole bunch of those lying around. They were conveniently modular. He did order something from Captain Xavier, so you can't expect it to not turn out modular. That's just my thing. So I used a long shot front gun because it was a good length. It gave me a convenient mounting point for the two swarm fires. It also had its own handle, and if you take out the actual front gun, it had a convenient place to mount the Titan. So I decided, instead of just uh, permanently integrating it and making it one solid blaster that can only be used like that, I chose to, in fact, make it modular so that the barrel extension comes off and is itself a fully functional independent blaster. So it has the pump, a bicycle pump, to pump up the Titan, which shoots beautifully. I've got um, attachments being made for it. They're still drying. Uh, he had a whole list of interesting attachments, some of which I simply couldn't figure out how to make work or if it's even possible. He wanted one that fired two demolishers at once and the Titan didn't have enough power for that. Uh, he wanted something that fired six rivals at once, and I didn't have any way of doing that. However, I do need to talk to um, Out of Darts, because he came up with a shotgun barrel for uh, drain blasters using rival by simply using um, a tube that the rival rounds were loose inside of, and so it was able to fire them all at once. I don't know how well it would work. Um, I'm just making um, a three-quarter inch PVC barrel, which will fire both Mega and Rival. Uh, my Titan can fire two or three Rival rounds at once out of that barrel, uh, so I assume he'll be able to do that as well. I think he asked for a standard shotgun attachment as well. I'll have to check and see if he did. Um, also, a single brass Elite barrel that is also the Demolisher barrel, of course. So that pumps up, and it uses the original trigger to fire. And then this lower trigger, which looks like a rev trigger, fires the swarm fires, which are running off of four IMRs, which are under this uh, stampede jam door uh, that can, that's just been bolted on top. So you take that off, and there's a four-pack AA pack that uh, holds the batteries. And it 
is a fully functional run out there with this ridiculous blaster. You've got your grenade launcher, you've got your 40 rounds of full auto. Beautiful thing. Or, and here's where the modularity comes in, you can attach it to any blaster really that would take a barrel mount and fire it using this front trigger, but with the cross bolt, since it's, you know, part of this system, you've got the cable that jacks into the cross bolt, just like my shoulder cannon on ire, and it allows you to fire the swarm fires using the rear trigger, as well as the front trigger. Just cuz, honestly. Uh, it's not really necessary, but I felt it was neat. You can then unjack, take it off, and use them independently. So, I'm hoping he will be uh, well pleased with it. He does not know it's coming, which is why this video is being posted now. I actually finished this build back on the 16th, uh, but the mother asked me not to post a video on it until after Christmas so that it would be a surprise, and I, of course, am more than happy to oblige. Uh, keep your eyes open for the build video on this. I did film a whole lot of its build. Uh, naturally, being me, I missed a whole bunch because I just forget to hit the button or somebody calls me and it turns off my camera or who knows what. Uh, but that will be put up uh, soon. Uh, hours and hours of footage trimmed down to probably about 15 minutes because that's how build videos work. But this was actually a lot of fun. Um, like I said, I've been considering building something like this and now I really want to build something like this because I could attach this to my... Um, Modular stampede. I could attach this to my auto strife. My, I don't think you'd want to put something this much longer onto uh, a uh, rapid strike, but you could. Um, altogether, this blaster weigh comes in at just over five pounds, so it is heavy, uh, just because of you know the number of motors and all of the different components and all of that. Um, but it does have a beautiful amount of firepower. There will be a firing demonstration. You've got. 40 rounds of full auto, plus your crossbow, plus your grenade launcher. Um, an excellent, excellent idea. I, I really enjoyed this build, um, and I hope the kid enjoys it too. So, All right, now for a firing demonstration of the, I don't know, call it the swarm bolt or some such thing. We will start first using the rev trigger from the cross bolt. And then, disconnecting it, so that you can fire it manually. And there you have it. All right, now to touch, test the crossbow portion. Actually shoots surprisingly well. I've tightened the string a little bit, not a lot. And I have removed every single lock out of the thing. There you have it. If you have any comments, concerns, questions, ideas, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.